Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So it is Wednesday and we are uh, kicking back off Hidden Figures. As you guys know, I did daily Hidden Figures for February, uh, Black History Month, and we are starting back up with our regular schedule of every other Wednesday is going to be a Hidden Figure. Today's Hidden Figure is Mary S. Peake who was born in 1823 and died in 1862, Mary Peake was an educator who secretly taught former, formerly enslaved African Americans of all ages in her home in Hampton, Virginia. She was the first teacher hired by the American Missionary Association and she was also associated with the founding of Hampton University in 1868. Born to a free black woman in Norfolk, Virginia, Peake was sent to Alexandria at the age of six to be educated. Living with her aunt, Mary Payne, she studied for about 10 years before the United States Congress enacted a law prohibiting free blacks in the District of Columbia from being educated. The new law closed all schools for free blacks in the city. And at that point in time, Alexandria, Virginia was considered to be a part of the district, Washington, D.C. At age 16, Peek returned home to live with her mother, and she began to secretly teach enslaved and free black Americans to read and write. This was a tremendous risk in in the face of the law passed in 1831 that forbade the education of any person of African descent. The law was passed as a direct response to the Nat Turner Rebellion and Peake continued educating black Americans despite the law because she believed education was important to the race, which is a direct quote, education is important to the race. In 1847, her mother Mary Thompson Walker and the family moved to Hampton, Virginia, where they bought a house. She continued secretly teaching throughout the 1850s, and she was one of a number of black women whose teaching was, a few years later, officially sanctioned by the Union Army as the United States entered the Civil War. During the Civil War, the Peak family home was torched by Confederate forces, and after the attack, many black Americans sought refuge nearby at Fort Monroe. Peake started a school near the fortress on the grounds of what would become Hampton Institute, later called, <clears throat> excuse me, Hampton University. In just a matter of days, Peake's attendance increased from six students to 50, and as a dedicated educator, she created a school for adult learning in the evenings despite her failing health. In 1862, at the age of 39, she died of tuberculosis. Her school was one of the first of its kind and a tremendous feat in the American South during the Civil War. And that's educator Mary Peake, a founder of Hampton University and a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully everyone's having uh, a great week, um, a great month. March was a weird month. There's like five weeks in March, but only about three weeks in February. Links will be in the description box. See you guys next time. Peace.